we're super excited to be performing again. Uh, we had a concert just a little over a month ago, and so uh, since then they've learned two new challenging pieces. Um, and then just like last week, we decided, remember that piece we learned back in the fall when like things were so crazy? It's called To Tame the Raging Rapids, which is how it felt in the fall. We were trying to tame some cr the craziness of school during COVID and whatnot. Um, so that will be the first piece that we play today. Uh, we actually are bringing that back out and, and playing that tonight for you. Um, you may have heard our performance recording back in the fall, but we wanted to give you the live version of it. So uh, we'll be playing that, and then Libertango and La La Land, we have some special guest artists like Mr. Davis, back on drum set back there, he'll be joining us in a little bit, and um, we have some soloists, and then we will have our awesome student teacher, Ms. Castro, uh, conducting tonight as well, because it's her last night, uh, her last day with student teaching. So we've had a wonderful semester together, and um, we, we will be very sad to see her go, but she has many exciting things ahead of her, like graduating from college. So, um, so with that being said, uh, we know that tonight, uh, today is May the 4th, and we know what that means, so we could not possibly give you a, a performance, a concert on May the 4th without a little bit of...
moment to recognize our eighth graders. This is their last performance uh, in the, with the Renner Middle School Orchestra. And I've known these students um, since they were in sixth grade. And I just have to tell you that it has been my honor and, and a privilege for me to watch you grow up and, and listen to you grow up and to the wonderful, just incredible musicians that you are. And um, I just hope in, in some way that music will always be an important part of your life. And um, I, I wish you the best in high school and I hope you'll come back and visit a lot. Uh, we, we, will, we will need your help in training the, the next group of chamber students to, to meet your level of musicianship. So please, um, please take our best wishes with you and best wishes for high school and beyond and uh, but stay in touch, come back and visit. And so with that parents, can we uh, have our eighth graders stand and just recognize them for a moment? Eighth grade students, come and stand. Yeah. Yeah, what's going to happen next year? This performance is really not that good. It's an honor. Of most of them, their next teacher, uh, Mr. Davis at Shepton High School. Radio. Hello, everyone. Um, it's good to see you all again in, in such a short amount of time, really. I mean, it, it was just over a month uh, at the last concert that they got to have, and they just really worked hard to put together a new program and that's just it's it's spectacular under normal circumstances to put together a concert in just over a month but under the circumstances that we're in it's just that much more astounding and just awesome um, and that really speaks to the level of dedication that these students have on stage and the uh, the support that they have at home from you so thank you so much for pushing them and helping them to get through this difficult time uh, helping them to get through the difficult time of middle school, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing so many of them up at Shepton, um, and I'm just really excited for the future, so thank you.
name is Castro. Um, I've had the privilege and the honor of being a student teacher and being able to work with your, with your kids and with the wonderful Ms. Taylor and Ms. Park. And I just want to take a moment to honor these two amazing ladies because they, the work, the dedication, the time, the effort, they have put in all year long. This has been an adventure. And I just want us to take a moment to honor them and to just show them how much we appreciate and love them. So can we just give it up for Ms. Taylor and Ms. Thank you for being part of that. 